Hi everyone and welcome. This is Tom, uh, aka T Bray, and this is a follow-up video about the Trig Key Mini PC that I purchased and posted a, a very lengthy and boring unboxing video of a little while back. Um, right now, I have it connected up to my XP Pen. Um, was it Pro Display Twenty Four? Um, here's the pen. The pen is. See, see the cursor is working, that's fine. Anyways, so let's go in and I'm gonna start off by doing the, um, see if I can show like the specs just to see. So we'll do settings, no. Settings, okay, and then about, so you can see. Uh, this is called Art Station, like an Intel Celeron R, 1.1 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, device ID, product ID, system ID, and version Windows 11 Pro. So yeah, so it's uh, it's all good. Uh, the computer is right here. And let's see how it runs a couple of different things first, okay? So mostly what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have the pen working. So I open up the pen software. It might take a minute. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. And it's set up properly. That's fine. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to open up Photoshop. Let's see how that works. I may not have thought this through. This is, well, you're gonna get to see a real-time start of too, which might not hurt. So yeah, so this is 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, um, the 11th gen Celeron processor running at 1.1 with a maximum speed of 2.8, but that's only if you overclock it, and I don't think I'm gonna do that. Just mostly curious to see. I should have opened up a picture first. Let's just do a template. See what this does. All right, I don't know what I'm doing with this. No, all right, file, new, uh, let's do art illustration, 2000 pixel at 300 dpi. This might cause some massive, massive, massive slowdown or not, I don't know. So let's create a new layer. I need black. I'm gonna stay with a pencil. Let's see what this does. Okay. All right, it seems to be okay with that. I mean, I wanna do a different pencil though. I wanna do dry media. There. Happy HB, let's see how this works. Okay, notice if I go light, that, all right, let's try maybe a different color, red. All right, I think we need to try a bigger brush. Let's go wet media brushes. All right, there's no lag. It doesn't seem to be. So for like straight old for artwork, like for me, this is actually fine. Um, I don't know if this works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Get my pens mixed up. Um, all right, so that's fine. That's, so we've got Photoshop running. Photoshop is fine, there's no lag. I don't see any big giant problems. Um, let's do it, let's erase that though. There it is. There's the eraser. Yeah, there's absolutely no lag. It's not slowing down. It's running. This is the newest version of Photoshop, so that's fine. So we'll close. Now we're not saving it. Not saving that either. Now let's try Fresco, which is a, a painting app. I don't know if it's better or worse for lag, but it's worth looking into. 
see how it goes. And this is starting up again in real time. Um, all right, that's cool. I have a lot of stuff here that I could open. I'm not going to, because, yeah, it's all kinds of terrible. All right, so let's do a new one. Current size square, let's do another square one, all right? This time, I'm gonna try and move over here so that I can do my left-handed thing. What's this? Fresca runs optionally in the high-performance setting. Tap OK to change your power plan while using Frosco. Frosco. Fresco. Fine. Okay. There we go. So we're gonna change the color. I'm gonna go with a, maybe a, an orange. I'm gonna pick a wet brush, but what wet brush would we pick? Let's do an oil paint, an oil brush, and we'll go for oil paint chunky. Okay. No, oh, no, no leg. Which is kind of nice. All right. It's cool. Funny thing about the Fresco is that, um, unless they've updated it recently, they don't really do um, blending, which, which was, I always thought was kind of funny. Because, you know, I love me a good blend. All right, so that's oil paint. Uh, line brushes, let's go back and pick watercolor. Watercolor soft wash, all right. Okay, there's a little bit of a lag there. I'm not gonna lie. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. But for a one gig Celeron processor, I'm gonna say I can live with that. Alright, and there's I love that effect where it actually dries. It doesn't dry, it actually bleeds in. That's awesome. Alright. And then we have dry brushes, or it says vector. That's pencil. Lettering. Let's do gritty. Come on, there you go. Foo. Err. There you go. All right, so that's that. All right, I am, yeah, no, I'm liking this. I'm feeling good about this too. It's a w awkward position because I have a camera between me and the monitor, but you know, aside from that, there's nothing really stopping me from. Okay, that's not doing a lot. Of... Okay, you know, that's, that's very light, heavy. All right, so there you go. Okay, so it looks like that works. I'm not gonna save it. Um, just, you know, oh, it's saving for me. That's right, I forgot Adobe Cloud. But yeah, all right. So, um, Google Chrome, let's see. Come on, I can use my mouse, I suppose. Hey. All right, Google Chrome, don't care. YouTube, let's look at my channel. Okay. Look at my own stuff, it's kind of like, uh, all right. All right, let's do it this way. This is better. All right, now this is mine, and I'm not always the best at, you know. Oh, it didn't work, all right. Let's... All right then, that's, that's fine. Okay, no sound, that's fine. All right, now how about we then go back to premium, type in 4K. And we'll do 4K HDR Colorful Nature.
is going full screen. And it's set as, this is 1440p, which is what this monitor is, but I can do it in 4K and see what happens. Well. So yeah, they were not lying when they said you could do a 4K video. All right, well, this is all I really wanted to do for now. And um, so yeah, thank you for watching. We have now we can now say that this tiny weird little computer that cost me $298. Can handle 4K video, can handle Photoshop within reason, can handle Fresco within reason. And um, yeah, for the money, I'm pretty sure it's hard to beat this deal. Okay, so thanks for watching. My name is Tom, aka T Bray. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know. Don't forget, if you'd like to, you can always leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And don't forget to subscribe. I will talk to you soon. See you in the next video. Bye.